Hey guys, we're bringing you another edition of Jam on the Couch. We're quite liking these things. Um, and uh, again, got Ross and Greg joining me with you because we're actually going to talk on something that uh, has come up quite a lot recently, especially in the new year, um, with everyone kind of not necessarily questioning what it is that we do, but not really understanding why we are starting to be that little bit different. Uh, as, as you guys know, in the, in the general market uh, terms, uh, of things, we are what we know as personal trainers. Right? That's what we've got outside, that's what we promote on the website, but when you actually read the content of what we're putting out there, and whenever you come in to meet us, we do not refer to ourselves as personal trainers. And that's not because you know we're being arrogant or uh, anything like that, but we believe that the, the process and the philosophy that we have here um, kind of leans us and endears us a little bit more towards being coaches rather than trainers. And uh, we actually, as individuals, we actually put this question out on our trainers page to you know, our clients and to uh, the people that follow us and like us. You know, if you were to you know, conceptualize what a trainer is and what a coach is, how would you word it? And some of the key things that came out there was a trainer will really only focus on giving you a workout. You know, the trainer will only, you know, really kind of pay attention to how hard are you working and actually training. You, <coughs> all right. Whereas a coach, a coach takes everything into uh, into context. It takes he takes a good look at everything that is going on uh, in in your life. So that might be, you know, if if you are injured, how are you dealing with it mentally? All right. If you are struggling with uh, you know, things that are happening in your personal life. How is that manifesting itself in your workouts and in your, in your eating habits? We look at all of these things. We don't just get you in here, you know, get you hot and sweaty and then send you on your way. All right? We actually take a lot of time, care and attention and think about all the things that are going to be impacting and possibly even hindering your opportunity of uh, achieving success. All right? So, I really kind of want to, to reach out to you guys and let you know that difference. And the way that we kind of do that here is we really focus on three things. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, handy really that there's three of us here to kind of talk about it. Uh, but the three main things that we focus on whenever we have somebody come in here and want to work with us is physical conditioning, which I'm going to get Ross to have a little chat with about. Um, I'm also going to get Greg to talk a little bit about the nutritional side of things and how we kind of do it here and then lastly I'm going to have a little chat about how we actually make a difference uh, in people's lives from a lifestyle point of point of view because you know each and every aspect that we work with here you know it, it requires quite a lot of attention so I mean do you want to start with the, the physical side? So in terms of the physical side um, as opposed to uh, so your traditional personal trainer approach we do have a sort of specialised individual plan in place. So from the very first moment that you step foot in here, we begin with a fitness screening. So basically this enables us to see where your current level of fitness is at and also progress from there. Like I say, there's no point starting with shaky foundations and sort of continuing from there, just giving you workouts week on week. I say with the, learning a little bit more about yourself, that way we can focus more on tailored nutrition tailored activity and I say you know what you're going to get with the workout so rather than just giving you an hour of a workout and then cheerio it's, there's a lot more behind the scenes as well we're in constant interaction with email we're always giving feedback I say it's that instruction versus interaction um, overall we're always sort of there providing information and support um, in terms of the fitness screen itself uh, basically we uh, get you in we complete a questionnaire so basically a lifestyle questionnaire um, and that allows us to sort of touch all the bases, see where we're work, what we're working with and how we can progress yourself individually. Mm -hmm. And then from there we look at a functional movement screen. So with this, we're looking at any balance in the body, anywhere that needs sort of strengthened up initially. So where our primary focus is um, to start with. And then from there we can see sort of where the client journey and um, how we're going to progress with that through the different stages. Mm -hmm. And with the stages themselves, we have stabilisation to begin with. So again, we're focusing on core strength, these are your basic exercises focusing on fundamental movements, uh, progressing from there um, into strength, which again is more um, so depending on sort of your own ability, how long it takes to move through each of these phases. Um, yeah. Can you say something there, Mike? You no, I mean, I, I, you know, 
we take a lot of time, care and attention, like Ross is saying, on making sure that your foundation is solid. Uh, it doesn't matter what your goal is, guys. Uh, if you want to lose weight, you know, uh, get ready for a competition. If you are structurally in sound, you know, if, if you have got in imbalances in your muscles and you have got poor range of movement through your knee, your hip, your shoulder, then you're only going to be able to work part of your muscles. You're only going to be able to work part of a move. And that's just not good for your body as a whole, regardless of what you're trying to achieve. So even though that you might come to us with an initial goal, i.e. I want to lose weight, great. But if you're only able to move a third of the range of what you are po uh, potentially able to, then we need to address that. Because not only are we interested in what you want to achieve now or in the immediate future, but we need to think about what's going to happen to your body 10, 15, 20 years down the line. All right? And that's one of the things that Ross is really, really good at getting down in black and white when you're doing your plans. Yeah, um, do you want to tell the guys a little bit more about the kind of planning process that goes on? Yeah, so in terms of the planning, um, initially we do have things like corrective exercise templates, which kind of give you initial exercises that you can focus away from here in terms of your own time focusing on things like core stability, any imbalances that we notice with the exercise that we do. Um, and then from there, with the likes of the plan, as we're talking about with an annual plan, we also have monthly plans. So each session is particularly planned on a different um, part of the journey. So things like stabilization, strength, and then eventually onto power. Again, it will depend on each individual person how long it takes to get through those phases. But your sessions are planned month by month. And with regular interaction, we're looking at classes, looking at additional activity, things like cardiovascular, also things like flexibility. So there is a whole package as well. It's not just the one hour, you're in here and then you're away. And then we're always sort of looking around what else you can be doing um, in your free time as well. Yeah. yeah. Particularly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know my flexibility sucks. <laughs> Do right. club? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Jenny. Must just be in Mills. Jenny, if you're watching this, I promise I will go to one of your Pilates classes. <laughs> All right, I really do. It's on video now, you can quote me, all right? But you